Hey y'all, I wanted to do a quick video on unpacking your premium starter kit. I know a few of you have just received yours and um, a few more maybe have them on their way. And some of you maybe haven't decided yet if you want to get one and maybe this will help get you over that hump on um, making the decision. So, first and foremost, we will go over um, the diffuser itself. This is the home diffuser. This is my favorite. I like how easy it is to clean. I like that it has an intermittent setting as well as just an all the time continuous diffusing setting. What you will do is um, when you first get it, it comes with the manual and the little cleaning sponge. Go through the manual, look at, has some safety and usage information that you know will be good for you to know. The way that you can fill your diffuser is I keep a little cup handy and fill it with water. This cup is only used for diffuser water. The kids know don't drink out of it, don't run off with it. This is mommy's diffuser cup. Um, so I keep it up here, I fill it with water, and then I will drop my whatever oils I choose to put in. There is a line in here that's the fill line. It's not labeled fill line, but it's a little ridge. It's pretty obvious. Uh, don't fill the water over that line because it won't diffuse properly. Um, also, there is a, I don't know if you can see it, there's an air inlet in here that you don't want water to get in. So, if you're pouring excess water out, pour out, out the side that doesn't have the air inlet because trust me, you don't want water getting in there. It will get all down into the electronics and it won't work anymore. So, getting back to your oils. Take the lid off the oil. This orifice here, you don't ever really want to stick your fingers on. You don't want to get gunk from your fingers that can get back into the oils. Um, the middle circle is the air inlet. There is a teeny tiny little pinhole. That's where the oils come out. It's easiest to control the oil uh, if you have that pointing down to the bottom. So after you've put the water in, you can just drop however many drops of oil you want into the uh, diffuser. When you're first starting out, I would start with like maybe four drops, just so you get a feel for um, diffusing and you don't know how strong it's gonna be. Different oils are different too. Um, normally I will do, if I'm doing a blend, I'll do like four of one and four of the other, but it's all about your comfort level. And that's what's so fun about the diffuser is you can make your own recipes and whatever you like, um, how they make you feel. I'm sorry, there's a fly in here now joining us. Um, how, you make, how it makes you feel. Like today I'm diffusing abundance and orange because orange is really energizing and abundance for some reason is a big motivator for me. It makes me feel energized and productive. So um, after you fill it up, you reach down and pull this out from under your sleeping dog under your desk and plug it in. It's a little plug right here. Really simple to use. When you push the button, it's going to start diffusing. This green light's going to come on and this top light's gonna come on. If you um, want to diffuse consistently or uh, constantly, it's just gonna keep running and running and running until um, it runs out of water and then it's gonna automatically shut off. If you push the button a second time and the light is red, it's going to run 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off until it runs out of water and then will automatically shut off. To turn this top light off, you just hold the button down. This is typically how I'll run it during the day. And um, watch out because if you have a cup of water that you're drinking, some of the, the oil molecules will drop down into that water and it'll taste a little bit like you're diffusing, which isn't bad, I'm just warning you. Um, it doesn't affect the surface of anything. I run it on wood all the time. It, doesn't settle anywhere else, but it will kind of get in your drink if it's open. So, now that we've gone over the diffuser, we've gone over these oils. This oil thing is really cool, and I didn't realize this at first, I will admit it sadly, that these little things pop out and it turns into an adorable stand. So, you can stand it up in your bathroom, in your bedroom, have your oils all easily displayed for you to choose and pick and look at and it kind of helps remind you too, like hey I'm here use me so to get started the three ways you can diffuse you can use oils topically um, I will put them in a roller ball and roll it on your skin um, I buy these glass balls on or these glass 
roller tubes on Amazon, uh, your kit also comes with one for you to try with the Stress Away bottle. Um, there's, these are the nicest one, ones because they're all metal. A lot of them will have metal balls, but they won't have a metal um, you know, casing for it. So these Young Living ones are really nice. And you can put it directly on your bottle with Stress Away. Stress Away is a great blend for making stress go away. It's very calming. It smells wonderful. It's one of my favorite smelling oils. Um, so that's great too. Great way to use it topically. Um, you can also use them internally. I don't know if you can see these, but these are little um, vegetable gel capsules. Just take the lid off. You can drop some of these Vitality oils in. Um, you can mix them up and then just top it off with some grapeseed oil or uh, any other carrier oil you want and you can take them in internally you can also bake and cook with these vitality line oils what this vitality line is is it's just a different label to show you which oils are consumable um, you can ingest these oils you can put them in a water i like to drink lemon water lime water tangerine it's all you know, great, just one little teeny drop of oil flavors this whole cup of water. I'll also do a drop of honey to help all of the oil molecules get dispersed evenly um, into the water. Plus it adds kind of a little extra sweetness to it. Um, but honestly, drinking that versus a soda or juice or anything with all the, the sugars and added stuff during the day is great because you, you should be drinking more water and that kind of helps me it's flavored, it's tasty, it's not just plain water. So the uh, Vitality oils that come in your kit, we have peppermint, which is amazing for headaches and um, great for like athletic, you know, after an exercise support. Lemon is a great um, just kind of energizer, gives you a boost. It, these two oils in the morning I really like to put in water because it helps kind of wake you up and clears your head. and gives you kind of a good start for the day. Um, lemon also is one of my favorite ones to bake with. I'll make lemon cookies, lemon bars, um, you know, you could do it with cheesecake, anything really. Frankincense is great for your immune system and your respiratory health. So you can take them, um, you know, via the capsule or I know people who will do a drop of frankincense under their tongue. I try that, I don't like the way it tastes. It's a little bit too strong for me, so I stick with the capsules. Um, but you can ingest it if you like the taste of it. Um, it's also really amazing on your skin. It's great for dark spots, fine line wrinkles. I use that a lot um, in my you know face routine in the morning and at night. Uh, the Digees is great for digestive health. If you have an upset stomach or like you go through the stomach flu in your family and that this is what got us through the stomach bug. We rubbed it all on kids' bellies, 50-50 uh, mix, oil, coconut oil, everybody got it on their tummies and even their feet to help it get really into their system, help get that stomach bug out of here. Kapaiba, I'll be honest with you, this oil sat unopened for the longest out of my whole starter kit because I didn't know what the heck to do with it. So what I use it now for, the best use I've gotten out of it now is it is an intensifier. So let's say I have a headache and I want to take what they call the morphine balm, which is a capsule. It has five drops of copaiba, um, frankincense, and um, Idaho balsam fir. You can add peppermint to it to really get a headache or help your stomach. Um, it, it's just an intensifier to help kind of boost all the other oils. I'll do an allergy trio of lemon, peppermint, and lavender. On the days that my allergies are super bad, I'll add copaiba to it to just intensify. I want to get the most benefit from these oils as I possibly can, and this is a great booster. It alone can also help with inflammation and pain. Uh, moving on to the lavender now, it's known as the Swiss Army Knife of oils because it's so versatile. It's amazing aromatically. It has a great calming effect. It's great for your skin. It kind of helps calm your skin and soothe it. It's great on mosquito bites, bug bites, sunburns. Um, I even have this little owie roller that's my daughter's. It's purple, of course. She calls this her purple ointment. 
And anytime she gets a bite, a boo-boo, a bruise, she wants this on it and it makes it feel better. So the pan away is something I've also used with Copaiba and sorry, um, peppermint. Pan away is great for after athletic activities or pain or if you, um, you can even take it in with you like to the chiropractor or something and say, hey, can you mix a little of this with coconut oil? So if you're going to work on, you know, massaging my muscles and really just help get in there and if you add even some extra peppermint to it, it gives it a big zing and it's a really cooling sensation and really helps to kind of relax and soothe those muscles and joints or anything that you have bothering you. And um, we went over the stress away. RC stands for respiratory congestion, which I think we're all going to be needing a lot of RC in the next coming weeks with cold and flu season hitting. What I do is the first sign of anything with my kids, sniffly nose, coughs, anything, I start diffusing RC. You can also make your own little kind of Vicks blend uh, in a mason jar with some coconut oil, eucalyptus, and RC. Maybe add a little frankincense for respiratory support, and um, it's perfect to rub on chest or rub on feet um, for your kids. So. What else? We have purification. Purification does kind of what its name says. It purifies. It purifies the air. If you have a stinky, stale closet, drop it on a cotton ball, stick it up in a shelf. If your kids have, or husband, has really stinky shoes, take a drop, drop them in the shoes. I promise you they will be back to smelling great in no time. Last but certainly not least is Thieves, the last uh, oil in your kit here. Thieves is an amazing blend for your immune support. It also smells a lot like fall, so it's perfect to diffuse right now because it has the cinnamon bark in it. So we actually have the roller fitment on our Thieves. I have, this is a, a diluted blend here of uh, almond oil and Thieves, and we roll this on our feet every single day. So that covers the oils in the kit. Also in your kit, you will get these little sample packets to hand out. You can drop them in Christmas cards, share, oops, or drop them on the floor. Um, they're great for just kind of sampling out to people like, hey, um, here's some thieves for you to put in your hot tea. I know that you're battling a cold and maybe this will help you. Perfect. They also come with these teeny tiny little bottles that are another great way for you to save or share. So, sorry, let's say you want to, um, you know, your brother, sister, family member, church friend, anybody is having an allergy attack. You can make your own little um, allergy relief blend in here for them to try and give it to them. Or you can give them, like let's say you want them to experience the awesomeness of frankincense. Put some frankincense in here and then they give you these little cards. Give some information about frankincense, or I, as I like to call them, my BFF Frank, um, how to use it, and then you can even put your information here on the back. And then guess what? If they want to buy some, you can sell them, or you can sell them the kit. If you sell a couple of kits, you'll get your oils paid for, and you didn't even have to do anything except share what you're already using. It's not like you're going out and marketing and selling, you know, nonstop. You literally can talk to other people, get them interested, and just share your oils. Which gets me to this last thing here in your kit, the product guide. Trust me, you're going to want to go through this. You're going to have like a wish list a mile long of everything you want. What I usually do is I signed up for the essential rewards, which is you just make a 50 PV purchase every month. It's like an auto uh, an auto ship thing, kind of like a build your own box. You can go on and change it every month. What I do is I order kind of the, the usuals, the things I'm running low on, any of my supplements, my Ningxia, um, and then I'll pick one thing new, at least one thing new to try, whether it's a new oil, a new supplement, part of the cleaning line, um, anything. So I basically just have a big long list um, and you can even set this out on your coffee table, like friends come over, people come over, hey, what's this? And they're flipping through it. Great conversation starter to get your oils paid for. And 
I don't think I've gone over this, my other best friend, um, have I? This is the Ningxia Red. It's an amazing antioxidant drink, immune booster. I put it in our smoothies every single day. And trust me, I can tell a difference. When I don't have this, like we ran out for like three days. And I instantly thought, oh my gosh, I'm getting a sinus infection. I feel terrible. What's going on here? Literally the day this came in the mail and I started drinking it again, I was like, oh, you know what? I feel fine. Never mind. False alarm. Because it's that amazing for your immune system, the antioxidants, just helping support your body. So I think that's the whole kit. If I left anything out, comment me, let me know, message me. Um, any other specific questions, you can message me anytime. Uh, other than that, I hope you enjoy it. And um, let me know if I can help you with anything in the future. Thanks. Bye.